It's Remembrance Day, and like every Remembrance Day, I think of my late uncle, George Hamilton II, who is otherwise known affectionately to all as Bud. He was a member of the Canadian Scottish Rifles and was killed during an engagement in Belgium during the Second World War. Like other Indigenous people during that period of time, he was forced to spend his childhood in residential school. And all that while into his adulthood, he suffered all manner of racism and discrimination that Indigenous people were subjected to during those years. Yet, he still felt patriotic when the Second World War broke out, and he enlisted in the Canadian Army, fighting with the Canadian Scottish Rifles. While he was overseas, he sent letters home to my father that I remember reading. They said in part that he got along really well with the men in his unit. It's though in that kind of time, during war, maybe in the heat of battle, that those other things like racism and discrimination don't matter. He died en route home of his wounds, but the indignities of racism and discrimination at that time didn't stop while he was alive. They continued after he was dead. When he was brought home to Port Alberni, he wasn't allowed to be buried in the field of honor with other veterans who were killed. Instead, he was buried in the Hupachisit First Nation Cemetery, 200 meters away. Bud may not be buried with his fellow soldiers in the field of honor. Instead, he lays at rest in the cemetery with his mother and his father, his brother and his sisters. He enlisted in the army and fought for the government that made him spend his childhood in residential school. And he died on the front line for a country that hated him. But on days like Remembrance Day, that discrimination is set aside. Members of the Canadian Legion lay wreaths at the Field of Honour, but they also make the 200 meter march from the Field of Honour to the Hupachas at First Nation Cemetery, where they lay a wreath and perform a small ceremony at Bud's grave. On that day too, I've always had a vision that the spirit of the soldiers in the Field of Honour see Bud over here, and they beckon him over to join them for refreshments and war stories and whatever else soldiers do. Wami Shamilton, CBC News, Port Alberni.